Noxidol 3100 Sound Damping Compound. We're using symbols to show the effectiveness of Noxidol 3100. The symbol on the right is untreated, the symbol on the left is treated. Let's watch this again. Watch the meter. There's the untreated symbol. And this symbol is treated with Noxidol 3100. Noxidol 3100 Sound Damping Compound. In this video we show you how to apply Noxidol 3100 using a spray unit. Noxidol 3100 is a waterborne viscous elastic sound damping paste. It can be applied using brush, roller, or preferably spray. It cleans up with water and it's intended for use on metal, plastic, including fiberglass and composite materials. It effectively eliminates disturbing sounds, applied to carefully cleaned surfaces, untreated steel surfaces in moist environments must be primed before treatment. It fully cures within 7 to 14 days and can be top coated with most paints. Noxidol 3100 contains anti-corrosives and is water resistant when hardened. Let's take a look at the tools and safety equipment you'll need. Of course, Noxidol 3100, a drill and mixer attachment, a spray unit, and the proper clothing, including eye protection and a respirator. The first step is to mix the Noxidol 3100. Of course, you'll want to open the can. With the can open, you can see that Noxidol 3100 is a stiff paste. After mixing for 5 to 10 minutes, it becomes very elastic. And the Noxidol 3100 after 5 to 10 minutes will fall from the test plate. Continue mixing the Noxidol 3100 and this shows that it is water soluble it comes right off the mixer following the manufacturer's instructions we prepare our spray unit we make sure we have the proper nozzle pour the mixed Noxidol 3100 into the hopper for this sprayer, we set the pressure at 20 pounds per square inch. For demonstration purposes, we've mounted a panel of sheet metal on a board, and this is where we're going to apply our first coat of Noxidol 3100, using about a 12 inch spray pattern, evenly coat the surface with the Noxidol 3100. To achieve an effective resonance and sound damping, apply a smooth layer of about 0.04 to 0.10 inches of Noxidol 3100. The first coat of Noxidol 3100 compound has dried, it's brown, and it's time to apply the second coat. We're using a little bit wider spray pattern this time, about 15 inches. Your goal is to achieve a smooth surface with complete coverage of Noxidol 3100. Approximately 30 minutes have gone by and now the Noxidol 3100 is dry, a nice smooth surface, and it's dry to the touch. With the successful application of Noxidol 3100, now it's time to clean up the equipment. Remove all excess Noxidol 3100 from the hopper, add some clean water, Evacuate all of the Noxidol 3100 from the system until you have clean water running from the nozzle. Do a second cleanup using paint thinner. This will ensure that all Noxidol 3100 material has been removed from the equipment and follow that up with some clean water to remove any traces of the paint thinner. It's a job well done!
Remember, this video is a guideline. Please read and follow the complete instructions for using Noxidol 3100. Those instructions can be found on your CAN label. For more information, contact Soak and Trade Corporation. 310-324-0149. Or at socianusa.com/noxidol.